All right, so I'm out here in the lobby, and uh, I wanted to share with you guys a little bit of this experience. Um, when I first started looking into programmers to uh, change the settings on this power chair that I just got, um, I was told by most people, well, you're not going to get a whole lot out of the settings. Uh, you're wasting your time and money. Well, I can just tell you right now that anyone who tells you that, first of all, doesn't know what they're talking about, or they have an agenda, because what you can achieve with this little programmer here um, is mind-boggling. Um, so I'm going to show you how it works. I plug it into the, into the joystick and turn it on. Powers up. And then you turn it on. And you can see here how that goes. Right at, right at the top, performance adjust. All right. Select there. And here are your settings. Forward speed, turning speed, acceleration, forward acceleration, reverse. So there's a whole bunch of them here. I'm not going to go through each one of them, but I'll show them to you. Turn acceleration, turn deceleration, braking forward, braking in reverse, reverse speed, tremor dampening, which is also actually important, and torque. Um, so, I mean, if you, this chair was set on 90% forward speed. So it was already set at almost its top speed, but acceleration was set around 40% and and worse, and this, the turning. So I'm going to show you what it looks like when you go from the factory settings um, with the speed and with the turning and stuff to um, you know a reasonable speed. I wanted to change one of these um, before. I could just show you the settings here. And so forward speed. I have set it 100 now, all right? And turning speed, I can't remember. It's set at 60. I'm going to turn it up a little bit because it's incredible. I'm going to put that at 75, all right? Um, acceleration forward, it was very low. I have it on 90%. I think that's all you can do is 90%. It makes a difference. You do a wheelie in immediately when you hit the gas. Um, acceleration reverse, I'll leave that alone. Turn acceleration is important when you're going fast. So I'm going to make sure that goes up a little more. About 75. I, I would suggest definitely um, go slow with, don't just turn everything, you know, to the highest point because you'll be, you'll be sorry. All right. Um, set at 70. And... Breaking forward is important. Jeez, uh, I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Okay. And... Those things are good. Tremor dampening is important. I'm going to bring that up some. It makes it stop shaking so much when you're, when you're rattling and rolling. And... Try one more setting with the torque. It's the highest, I think it's 200 ohms. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And uh, power off. And now watch this. Anybody who's got one of these, um, this is an Invacare Ponto M51. Anybody who's got one of these knows that it doesn't turn like this. Or this. <laughs> and and it doesn't do wheelies like that <laughs> um, when you get it from the factory. So the uh, the control you have is unbelievable. I'm literally spinning the tires on the pile right here and doing drifting. And you see, can you even get a picture of that? How fast that turning is. The responsiveness is unbelievable. Um, so you're considering um, reprogramming your chair, I would say definitely do that uh, because you will be very, very happy with the result.